today on Unboxing Theme Park Magic. Hey guys, need a stroller while you're here in the Orlando area on vacation? Stay tuned to the end of the video for a very special offer. Hello everybody! I'm still struggling with the light, trying to make it so you can see my eyes and not the, um, the brightness of my little light. But it's Jen here, and today we are going to do another unboxing. We got a really great set of pins, and... I can't wait to show you guys. But first, I forgot to say in the last video, I think this is gonna be like my unboxing shirt. Cause like, I'm trying to complete these sets. But I need to give a big thank you to Kevin and Sarah for getting me the shirt. I mean, you know I love Stitch. And I mean, I think the shirt perfectly sums up me trying to complete these sets. I mean, seriously. But we got some pins to open, let's go. So first up today is the Series 2 Collectible Pin Pack of Disney Wishables. This is the new set. Wait, is this the new set? Hold on. Yes, yes, this is the new set. I had to double check. Because I know the original set changed and they're all the same except for two. They replaced um, Braff, the two Splash Mountain ones with Jack Skellington and Oogie Boogie, which I will eventually need to get. I haven't completed the first Wishable set yet. So this is an all new line. It has, looks like Space Mountain, um, Mickey and Minnie. It has Toy Story Mania, Woody and Jesse. From Coco, it has Dante and Miguel. From Monsters, Inc., it has Mike and Boo. This is a weird combo, but we have a teacup and peter pan i'm not sure how they go together it's like why wouldn't it be tinkerbell that's really random and then they have um from beauty and the beast they have cogworks cogsworth and lumiere from the new mickey and minnie's runaway railway we have goofy and oh, i cannot remember what this bird is called oh it's terrible and then from country bear jamboree we have big al and Ooh, I can't remember what the lead singer is. One thing you will notice about these is the price is a little more. These are $29.99 now, the new sets, but that's because each of these are individually bagged. So I can literally cut this open and dump them out and it's the individual black bagged pins. So if I grab like two by accident, I'm not ruining the surprise as I open each one. Which, thank you Disney for helping us unboxers and um, pin openers for making our jobs a little bit easier. <sighs> oh, what can I say about this pin set? This is my last box. Um, they also don't sell these anymore, anywhere on property. I mean, I had got them and I didn't even pay $6.99. I think I paid $2.99 a box for these, which is why I bought like 12 boxes of them when I did. I bought every one they had and um, in the outlets like forever ago. But man, I want to open it because I want to complete the set. But I know I'm not going to complete the set. I know I'm not going to get that March hair. And oh gosh, I just want to finish. I've never wanted to complete a set more because it's been so aggravating. I've opened so many of these boxes. I mean, I've probably opened six boxes so far needing just this pin and haven't gotten it yet. I'm starting to think that it was discontinued. I think they never made them. I feel like he just doesn't exist. And then we have two of the Hidden Mickey mystery pouches. I cannot remember if these are my last ones or not. All right, so I just checked. I have one blue one left after this and one pink one. But after this, I'm splitting them up into different videos. Um, so you won't get the last two in the same video. I don't know that I would buy any of these because there's so many different sets that um, can come out of these that it's really, really hard to complete a set buying these. Um, it's better off just trying to trade for them the year they're for trade only. So I don't know that I would buy any more of these unless like for some reason they were a really good sale. 
I mean, $12.99 for two pins isn't terrible. You get your annual pass holder, DVC, whatever discounts. So, um, but again, it's so hard to complete a set because there's so many different sets. There's at least four or five sets per one of these. So this has four or five different sets. This has four or five different sets. So it's just really hard. Then we have another Disney Doors. Um, again, I have several of these. I think I still have like two or three more bags after this. So hopefully I'll get that, what I'm calling Donald. I'm not 100% sure. These ones, like the only ones that's really obvious is like these two, these three. Actually, this is, yeah, these two are the only ones I don't know. That's gotta be Minnie. I don't know. Anyway, um, still trying to get him. I have a couple more after this. So this isn't the end of the road for this one, which is nice. Then we have the Magical Mystery Pins Series 10. I haven't opened one of these in a while. Um, this is the set I'm not that crazy about. The only one I actually want is the Cheshire Cat just because Kay wants that. I do believe this is the last one of these I have. And honestly, I'm not gonna buy any more of these because I just don't like this set that much. Um, there's other sets I wanna complete I would buy instead. So hopefully I'll get the Cheshire Cat. I can give it to Kay and be done with this. If not, I'll just hope to trade for him on a pin board somewhere um, because I'm definitely not buying any more of these. And then we have the Disney Magical Mystery Pin Series 16. This is the luggage set. Just a reminder, I have Pooh, Peter Pan, Dumbo, and Simba. I only need Oogie Boogie and Belle, so I'm getting there. I do have a couple more of these. I think I have two or three more bags of these in upcoming videos after this. And again, like I said in the last video, these are hard to come by. They're a really popular set of pins, so I usually buy one every time I see one because it's rare that I find these anymore. So um, there will be more of these to come up until I complete the set. And last but not least for today's video is the Magical Mystery Pins Series 17. And this is the umbrellas. And it's funny, I got the two across from each other. So I have Woody and Maleficent. I do need the rest. <clears throat> again, I have, I think, three or four more bags of these. Um, so there are more coming. And this is another one that's popular. And I buy them whenever I see them. Because this is another one that's really hard to get. I think today... I lost my scissors. Where did my scissors go? Check me, it's stolen my scissors. I had to steal them back. But um, I think I'm going to start with this one first. Because um, I really want to finish this set. I just need that last, I'm calling it the Donald door. I just want to be done with these. I mean, even though I'll open the other ones I have, <clears throat> but I just want to have the set complete and have that stress off. Cause so it's surprisingly stressful that like, I want it so bad. But again, these are one pin per bag. They are $6.99 each. You can use your annual pass, BBC, um, or Chase Holder Visa if you spend $50 on it. totally Donald. <gasps> I completed the set. Oh, it's like the greatest feeling ever. Oh my God. Oh, maybe that means I'll get the March hair today. Oh, it's my last, that's my last box. So I hope so. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, very good pin. This is what year? I can't. Oh, wow. These are from 2014. So you can see the quality is fantastic. Oh, I can't believe how old these pins are. They actually still sell these too, which is wild. But um, yeah, so, oh my gosh, I don't have to buy any more of these. I'm done with this set. Ah. I almost grabbed the Alice because like I desperately want to open that now, but I think I want to split it up a little. So I'll do one of these and then I'll do the Alice. So I'm going to do the blue one first. Again, two pins per bag, $12.99 each. I am also not crazy about how these are packaged because they get stuck together and it's really hard to pull out only one. Oh my gosh, that's the other one I wanted from the Disney Dragon set. Awesome! Yay, I got my figments! Again, such much better quality than the 2020 pins. It's so weird. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love him. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling like so good. I'm definitely opening the Alice ones next. This pin is tiny. I can't grab it. Oh, maybe it's another outer space one because it's so tiny. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh no, it's a macaron. 
And it's one Kate does not have, because I actually checked. She only has yellow and orange. Orange is the completer. So now she has a green macaron to go with her set. So the green is two of five. So these will say two of five, but there's technically six in the set because the completer says completer on the back. Um, it doesn't have a number. So now she has two of the main set and the completer. I'll eventually get her them all by trading. All right, I can't wait anymore because I'm feeling so good about this. I'm getting the March hair today, guys. Like, it's going to happen. Like, I have to get them. I'm not going to touch the bags ahead of time because I don't want to know because I kind of ruined it for myself by feeling them. I'm, like, not touching the pin at all. I'm going to be completely surprised. Oh, guys. Please. Please. Dang it! Oh, I really think this pin doesn't exist. Alright, this is the last pin I have of this. Like, this is it. It's this or nothing. And, oh, I don't think it's it. I just felt the pin. Oh, I'm so upset. Oh, all I wanted was the March hair. Has anybody ever seen the March hair in real time life? Does that pin exist? Like, because I've never seen it. And I've opened eight, at least ten of these boxes. Like, it's ridiculous that I haven't gotten them. <sighs> I am so bummed. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, I'm just so dejected and defeated right now. I'm going to have to pull out all the traders I have and, like, show you how many pins that I've pulled that are not the March Hare. It's insane. Look at the shenanigans. One box. Two box. Three box, four box, five box, six box, and a half. Six and a half boxes of duplicates. Not one March Hare. That's 12 pins that I've pulled that were not the one to complete the set. Not counting the one of each of these that is already up on my board. And I don't, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, but I joked about how I'm pretty sure I have a second complete set that's just missing the March hair, and I do. I have a completely second, almost complete set. This is also only missing the March hair. This is just so aggravating. Okay, so I went and raged a little bit in my own head cried a little bit because I'm just clearly not going to ever complete that set. Um, I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to go on to some of my tr pin trading groups that I'm in and see if I can trade for them, but um, not holding out much hope. But next up is the Magical Mystery Pins Series 10. And again, I'm not collecting these, so I don't particularly care. I would like to get... Wow, why is this so blurry? It's weird. I won't focus on it. I would like to get the Cheshire Cat just so that Kay can have them because she has an actual Cheshire Cat collection. But there's nothing like I have to have out of this set. Really? Oh, it did open it. Okay. And another thing I like about these ones that are all the same size is you can't tell. Like, I kind of ruined it for myself opening the Alice because I could tell that it wasn't the right size for the March hair. Uh, it wasn't the right shape when I was grabbing it. These ones, they're all the same shape, so you don't know which one you're grabbing until you pull it out. Oh my gosh! What the heck? How am I getting every other pin, literally every other pin I want, except for that stupid March hair? But now I can be done with this set too, because this is the only one we actually wanted out of this set, and I'm going to go give it to Kay. Although she's taking a nap, so I'm not going to give it to her right this second. But again... I love the divots in it, like how it looks like a postage stamp. It's really cute. I'm just not a fan of this set. Oh my gosh, I am so salty. Like, you don't even know how salty I am. I wish I would have saved that Alice in Wonderland thing to the last because it's going to just ruin this for me. But on to the next hidden Mickey, hidden Mickey mystery pouch. Again, two randomly assorted pins. I have to try to keep them from getting stuck together. Grab just one. Another one of the Epcot line. That is for the Living Seas. And again, the quality is pretty good. Um, 
Yeah, it seems like just that year 2020 pins are the ones that are all messed up. All right, and I apologize. I'm trying not to clear my throat or like sniffle or cough while I'm filming, but I'm having a horrible allergy attack. And like my sinuses are a mess right now. All right, last pin and I literally cannot get it out. Oh, and it's another duplicate, but that's okay. Uh, I still need just the Goofy from this set, but this will be a trader. Maybe I can trade them for Goofy. So again, the quality is pretty good. It's a weird shape, so it's hard to distinguish the Mickeys, um, but it is a nice clean Mickey stamp on the back. I think I'm gonna go right through these and save the Wishables for last because um, I haven't opened any of them, so I'm guaranteed to get ones I've never had before. So I'm very excited to open those. Um, so again, this is the series 16, which is the luggage. I have four of the six, Pooh, Peter Pan, Dumbo, and Simba. I just need Belle and Oogie Boogie. And again, I have a couple more of these. So, um, you know, if I get a duplicate it's not the end of the world, I have more bags. <gasps> yes! Oogie Boogie, oh, he's cool. Oh, I didn't realize he was purple. It didn't. It's hard to like see a lot of some of the intricate designs like on the back. <gasps> I love this one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be fighting K for this one. But again, because it was a 2020 pin, it's pretty rough. This one isn't as bad as some of the other ones. Um, it's only got a little bit of a rough edge. This one's actually a lot better than some of the other ones. Um, it just has a, a slightly rough edge. But, oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. And purple and green are my two favorite colors. I only need one more. I wonder how many bags it'll take to actually get her. Because I have a couple more of these. So hopefully I don't have to buy any more. All right, and the last Magical Mystery Pins of the day is Series 17. And again, that is the umbrellas. And I have Woody and Maleficent. So hopefully I will get one that I don't have. And I completely forgot that they're made to cut sideways. Make it so much easier to get the pin out. Maybe, maybe not. I can't tell if I have it right there. Oh yes, Lilo! Oh, it has her hula skirt and her red dress. I love this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get her up on the wall. Ooh, again, this is a gnarly one. Look at the lip on that edge. Trying to get it. Can you see it right there? Look how high up that is. Ooh, I don't like it. Again, I think if I had traded for this, I would think this was a scrapper. Like a fake pin, but clearly it's not because we just watched me open it out of the bag. And I personally bought this from Disney property, so I know it's a legitimate pin. Oh, so Lee was talking to me and I cut it open thinking I would just dump them out. But interestingly enough, these are not individually bagged. So they just raised the price of them because this was $29.99. And usually that $2 more means that it has the bags, but it doesn't. So I'm glad I didn't just dump it out because I would have totally ruined it for myself. But again, I don't have any of these. So I'm very excited to get any of them. <gasps> oh my God. He's so angry. He's like a grumpy old man. I love him. <laughs> that face, he's so curmudgeonly. I love it. And again, look, these are a 2021 pin and look how much cleaner they are. They don't have the rough edges. It's a nice, beautiful, pristine Mickey stamp. Like this is what I expect when I look at the back of a legitimate Disney pin. Okay. That is like my favorite Disney song of all time. That's literally all there is because they cut them off. But <clears throat> I just love the Country Bears so much. And again, it's a nice pristine back, clean edges. This is what a Disney pin is supposed to look like. 
And I didn't even notice, like, they even have the checker on his shirt. I love it. I can't grab him. What is going on here? Hold on. I'm struggling, guys. And Jesse! Oh my gosh, it says Andy on the foot. I didn't even notice that. That's so cute. And she has a 500-point target with a bunny. I love it. And her little wink. Oh, and look at how beautiful that back is. I'm so happy they're making the pins better again. Oh, I was getting really worried for a while there. She is so adorable. All right, three for three. Two to go. And Space Mountain Mickey. Oh, my God. I'm having trouble here. He is so adorable. He looks very determined. He's going to make it to space. Oh, look at how good that looks. I can't get over how nice they look again. Oh, look, look, there's not like an edge to it. It's perfect. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, last one. No Emmys. This one is gross. Oh, it's just dirty. Okay. Whew. I got worried. I was like, no, it's ruined. But it was just, oh, it's weird that that was dirty. I don't know what was all over that. But this is the bird from Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. I want to call him Chubby, but I feel like that's not right. I'm going to have to Google this. Hold up. Oh, I was close. It's C-H-U-U-B-Y. So instead of Chubby, it's Chuby. But he is a fat little bird. I love him. Although he is very dirty. I don't know why. Oh, no, that spot's not coming off. Oh, it is. Okay. Um, yeah, but he's cute. It's weird that it came out so dirty. But he's adorable. Nothing can stop me now. Wait, what is it he says? Nothing can stop us now. That's all the words that I know. Sorry for the weird angle, but this is like Glare City. But um, I got one of each. I didn't get any, du any no duplicates, but I also didn't get a complete set yet. But I do have um, currently in-house one more bag of these. So I do have another set of the Series 2 to open at some point. So hopefully I'll get some complete sets out of this. So again, sorry about the glare. It's really hard to film Disney pins. Um, all in all, with the exception of the Alice in Wonderland set, still salty. It was a really great haul. I got five, I went five for five on the new Wishables. I finally completed my Disney doors. I got the other dragon I wanted from the Disney dragon set. I got Kay and New Macaron. I got five out of six for the luggage. I got a umbrella I didn't have before. And I got Kay, the only one we really wanted out of that set, the Cheshire Cat stamp. So I'm really impressed. We did pretty good today. Oh, Alice in Wonderland set, how you disappoint me. I'm saving room for my Marsh hair when I finally get him. I will get him someday. But I added Lilo to the mix. I finally completed this one. I am so happy. All six doors. Donald is locked and loaded. I got my Oogie Boogie. I only need one more to finish this set. I do have to move these around a little bit so I can try to get both sets in here. So be right back. So this is gonna look weird because I left space for the mates so that you could put the sets together as I put them on the wall. Um, so I have most of those. The only thing that stinks is they don't sell this one anymore. So I'm not gonna get, I don't remember, I think it was Br'er Bear. I don't remember who the second one was for this, but um, I'm not gonna be able to get them. I'm gonna have to try to trade for them. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to buy them off eBay because nobody's even gonna trade for them. But um, yeah, so hopefully I'll get to fill in some of these gaps when I open my next pack in a later video. All right, guys, trying to see. I think that's about the size I can lift my eyes where you don't have a horrible glare. I'm like peeking at my watch where I can see. So it looks like it's not too bad right here. But oh, I'm so mad about those Alice in Wonderland pins. I'm gonna have to like post in some of my Disney pin trading groups, see if I can trade for him. I didn't wanna trade for him before because I wanted to see if I could get him myself because I had so many boxes to open up. Now that all my hope has been crushed, I'm gonna have to see if I can trade for them. I mean, I have almost a complete second set, so I can, for whatever character they want other than him, I can trade for. But, other than that, it was pretty
pretty good. I got five of the wishables that I didn't have before. I got the di the dragon I wanted. I got the finish my Disney doors set. I got Kay the Cheshire Cat, so I'm done with the postage stamp set. So we're getting there, slowly but surely. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys! Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.